If you have electronic shifting like Shimano DI2 or SRAM access, your bike is generating detailed shifting data on every ride, but normally that data isn't surfaced in Garmin Connect. Our eShift metrics data field captures all of that information and turns it into custom fit fields so you can review your gear usage post-ride. So if you're trying to optimize your cassette choice or just curious about your shifting habits, this data field can help you understand how you use your gears. When you add eShift metrics to your cycling profile, the display is simple. It just shows your current gear. The real magic happens in the data fields that we save to your activity file. So here I've pulled up a recent ride in Garmin to show you the fields we've added. Rear gear time distribution. This might look confusing at first. It's stored as a single number to save space in the fit file, but here's how you read it. Each digit represents a different gear, with the leftmost digit being the easiest gear and the rightmost digit being the hardest gear. The numbers show how much time you spent in each gear relative to your most used gear, which always gets a nine. You can think of them as heights of bars in a histogram. Unfortunately, Garmin doesn't let us create actual bar charts with developer fit fields, but here's what this data would look like if it was graphed. So yesterday I spent most of the time in my second gear, and that's why the second gear position shows a nine, which is the highest value. And here's where it gets more interesting. Let's look at the difference between the time-based distribution and the work-based distribution. I spent a lot of time in my hardest gear, but I didn't do much work there. And that makes perfect sense because I was descending, just coasting with little power output. So if we look at work distribution, it shows that I did most of my actual effort in the easier gears. This was a one by setup with a 1052 cassette and a 40 tooth chain ring. The numbers might look a little weird with commas, but you can just ignore those. I store everything as numbers to, uh, instead of text to save space. Let's go to my wife's ride. She has Shimano T DI2 uh, with a two by setup. You can see the breakdown between big and small chain rings, plus the front derailleur shifts. She also has the gear index time series and gear ratio time series turned on. These can be nice because Garmin lets you overlay other time series metrics on top of the graphs, which could be cool if you wanted to look at gear ratio compared to your speed or your incline. But yeah, let's go back to my ride. The pro version of the data field unlocks these power-based distribution stats. It also unlocks the lap-by-lap -lap breakdowns. So with the pro version, you can, see your, you can see how your gear usage changes throughout different segments of your ride. One important thing to know about the developer fit fields, they're all optional. So you can choose which ones you want to turn on and off from our settings menu. Garmin limits how much custom data each activity can store. So if you have other cycling data fields that write custom data, you might need to be selective about which fields you enable to avoid crashes. That said, if eShift metrics is your only data field with developer fit fields, then it's safe to turn everything on. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email, patrick at eshiftmetrics.com.